Hey buddy, welcome to another Roscar Retro Reviews. Today we're just doing a quick little video. We had done some gameplay clips on this particular game that we're going to talk about today and it's Slither for the ColecoVision. We actually had uh, done a video uh, a little while ago on the ColecoVision Roller Bowl. Uh, which I think is an awesome, awesome uh, piece, accessory for the ColecoVision. It actually brings out quite a bit for that game system, especially with uh, certain games. And um, But one of the games that actually was packaged with, with it was Slither, which came out in 1983 uh, by Coleco Technologies. It was ColecoVision's um, answer to Atari's mega hit Centipede or Millipede. And initially when I saw this, and I saw it being reviewed over on Classic Game Rooms by Mark, uh, he gave it a uh, thumbs up on it, and he, you know, he stated that it was a really, really fun game. This is one of those times I have to admit that judging a book by its cover is not necessarily a good thing, because this game turned out to be an excellent, excellent game. And we're going to show you some gameplay in a few minutes, but I just want to definitely let you know, this game right here, if you do end up getting this game, make sure that you have the roller controller with it, because if you don't have the roller controller with it, this is going to be just a nice little piece to decorate your your you know, collection of ColecoVision games. It will not be able you will not be able to play this, or it will not operate uh, without the roller controller. Again, we're going to go ahead and play some Slither for the ColecoVision, released in 1983 by Coleco Technologies. ColecoVision's answer to Atari's mega hit again, Centipede Millipede. Let's go ahead and play some games. Okay, so we put in the uh, Slither into the ColecoVision. And as all other ColecoVision games, you would press the one, two, three, whatever it is, the corresponding button to whatever skill level you're playing. Well, as you can see, uh, this game, unlike Centipede, which takes place, I believe, in a garden. What do you think, babe? This is the babe who's playing it. As you can see, she's uh, she's the one playing it. She actually uh, found herself really enjoying this game. Anyways, you can see this is uh, snakes, and it's taking place in a desert. And the job is primarily just to get clean out the, the board of the snakes. Now, as you can see, most of the time when you kill the snakes, they leave like cactus, and cactus are in your way. Now, explain to me where does the dinosaur and the pterodactyl come from? I'm not even sure what time period in the, in, uh, the history's, uh, uh, what, what historical time this is in, in Earth's history. But um, we see pterodactyls show up, we see dinosaurs show up, but pretty much, pretty much it's... This, it's, it's, it's just like Centipede, but it's really, really fun. Ah. One of the coolest things about this also, is if you can record, is that with the controller, the roller controller, there's different buttons here. You can actually shoot up or down. So if they were to get under you, you can actually move the... Uh, uh, I have no idea what it is that's shooting. What is that? I mean, the game is so fun, we haven't even been able to identify what it is that we are that are shooting these things. Anyway, if you get surrounded by whatever it is, you can actually shoot down and clear the board under you to give yourself space. As you can see, there's also cactus uh, because this is a desert and the cactus end up being in your way. Now, what you do is you normally would shoot the cactus and they would get out of your way. And a lot of times when you shoot the snakes, if you could see, the snakes will actually leave cactus behind them after you kill them, uh, which again will make it difficult for you to get around. And you can actually get trapped in the pockets in these things. But it's a really, really fun, fun game. And again, don't judge books by cover. Because this is definitely one of those times that we can say that. Because visually, we weren't impressed. But the game is a fun game. It does get... It, it seems very, very simple initially. Um, but it gets as, challenging in what you get. Yeah, high. once you pass uh, certain levels, it'll get more and more oh. difficult. More snakes come onto the board. And um, also, if you notice, I like the fact that it shows... Uh, different time periods through the day. It shows the daytime, right? And then it also shows nighttime. But the game does get very, very challenging as it goes on. So this is actually one of uh, our favorites right now as far as using the rollerball. So we give a lot of credit to uh, uh, Mark for giving it the high, uh, high favorable marks. And we definitely agree with him. Fun, fun game slither for the ColecoVision. Uh, and the big, big part that's really important here is that if you end up getting slither, for your ColecoVision, and you do not have the roller controller, you're Good not going to be able to play this game. Good luck. This game was made to be used with the roller controller. So, fun, fun game, Slither, ColecoVision, uh, used with the roller controller, released in 1983 by Cole Coleco Technologies, ColecoVision's answer to Centipede and Millipede. As always... Uh, we're gonna say keep it retro and if you do get a chance again if you do get a chance to get this make sure you get this because without this you're just gonna have a nice little piece to decorate your uh, games 
uh, your Coleco Visions uh, list. So, again, keep it retro, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Bye. <laughs>